I'm not so sure the Pirates have the value today at the plus 154 because they were very good over the past couple of days with dog prices. And again, they'll be in this game. I don't think the Marlins are good enough to blow anybody out. So I'll segue right into that. I think runs might be hard to come by today, but you are looking at a low total of seven. So if you equate it both sides, three to three here in the seventh inning, you're already going to cash in at least a push there from either side and maybe take down a winner. So it's hard to go over, excuse me, under that seven, but I think that's the way to go here. If you take a look at Brew Baker, he hasn't been a great pitcher here in 2022, but he's done very well against right-handed bats. And also, lefty's a little bit of an issue here with an ISO power number of 200. But as we take a look at the lineup today, lefty Wendell, lefty Sanchez, and that's it. It's only two left-handed batters out of nine anticipated in the lineup today for the Miami Marlins. And quite frankly, lefty or righty, it doesn't matter. Their entire lineup has really struggled this year against right-handed pitching. In the estimated lineup tonight, your high man here is a 320 on De La Cruz. Everybody else is below that. So not a single batter here anticipated to be above that Mendoza line, as we like to say here with the weighted on base percentage market to sort of get after right-handed pitching. If we take a look at Pittsburgh today, they're going up against Lopez, who's done very well against lefties and righties. Look at these splits. Lopez is a right-handed mm-hmm. pitcher versus lefties, a weighted on base percentage of 286, and to righties at 282. This is a giant ballpark, so I do think runs will be hard to come by. 4-2 final seems like the right move for me. Now, who gets that 4-2 win? I'm not sure of, but 4-2 is below runs of seven, and I'll take that. 